In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually import statement lines into the bank accounts that you have already set up in Xero. It may be that you don't want to set up bank feeds or that you can't set up bank feeds, but for whatever reason, we can manually import statement lines. So if I go to my business savings account here and click on the manage account drop down, I can import a statement. So here we have the formats that we can import in. So we can log into our internet bank and we can request to download the transactions between two dates. And the bank will offer various formats that you can download in. So Xero recognizes OFX, QIF and CSV. Now, not many banks in the UK offer OFX, but if they do, then choose that option. Once you've downloaded it, you won't be able to open it. You just need to save it onto your computer and then you can import it here. So you browse for that file and import it here. More, there are a lot more banks in the UK offer a QIF format and sometimes it's not written as QIF, it's written as Money Quicken or it has the word Quicken in it. So again, if you get offered that option, then download in that option. Again, you can't open it, so you save it onto your computer and then you browse for it and you can import it here. The third option is CSV um, files. Now, some banks will say they um, export an Excel, and if that's the case, export in Excel, but save it as a CSV. Once you've saved your CSV, you'll also be able to import that into Xero. Now, you do have to uh, be careful with the CSV file, so you need to check it first. Some banks export their Excel or CSV files of your statements with two columns for the money coming in and money going out of the bank account. And Xero only reads one column. So if it has been exported as two columns, you need to do a little bit of Excel wizardry so that you get one column. And you should have positive, money, positive numbers as money coming in and negative numbers as money going out. And once you've done that, you are able to import it into Xero. Now, I have a file here that I've created myself. So it's only got a couple of... Um, items on it. This is the minimum amount of information you need to be import your CSV file into Xero. So I've got the date and the description or payee could be either and an amount and you can see I've got positive, num positive numbers and negative numbers and I can import those lines into Xero. So I go to um, browse and to my desktop and it's this statement here. So I've got statement in CSV format and I import. Now because this is the first time that I've imported a CSV file into this bank account, Xero does ask me to tell it what the columns are for. So it does have a guess and it has actually guessed it correctly. We've got transaction date, the description and the transaction amount here. But you can see we could have a lot more columns with a lot more information and we would need to, if Xero doesn't choose the right um, description, then you can allocate those to the different columns. We can check what it would look like in Xero on our reconciliation screen. If I click on the next, each line will pop up to show me what it would look like in Xero. And if that's correct, I can save. And if I import next time um, in the same format, Xero won't ask me to map the columns, it will just import it. And we can see here there's five statement lines and Xero were duplicates. Xero does recognize duplicates as long as you import in the same format. So when you go into your bank to download the transactions, make sure you go to a date that you've had before so you do get a crossover so that you pick up every single transaction and none of them get missed off. So I click OK. And you can see, just remove the green help. 
you can see um, I've gone straight to the reconciliation screen in my business savings account and here are my five lines that were on my um, CSV file and waiting on the other side are the boxes for me to create those transactions.